Uh, all right, um, my name is Mike Luz. Uh, I built a browser synth. Um, I just wanted to dig into the uh, Web Audio API and see what I could do with it and see what it's what you uh, you can do with it. Um, the initial idea was to take text input and out and create um, sound, um, but I ended up just kind of turning the keyboard into a synthesizer. And right now, I have it set to be. Um, Right now it's just um, randomized tones, um, but there's actually a pretty cool library called TuneJS that has um, ab not abnormal but experimental tunings that you can use, which is pretty cool. So basically, the way I have it, you can program the keyboard to be any tone manual you want. Um, one of the inspirations basically was something that I love about music is the unexpected, and so when things kind of break, like when music breaks down. Um, that, that's what I draw inspiration from, so I wanted to create something that kind of breaks you out of the, the manual of a keyboard or the, the neck of a guitar or something like that, and just experience the pure tone and the relationships um, in almost a chaotic way. And then these kind of interesting forms come out of it. So that's, this is kind of the basic functionality, is this kind of thing. Um, but then there's text, uh, text input part, so this is all in React, actually. Um, I didn't get to implement Redux, so it's all local store right now. Um, but this is basically the idea, so you can say, like, world <laughs> and uh, you can listen to that so that's taking each note converting it to Unicode and then doing some salting and hashing to get a tone out of it um, you can also listen to it as two chords and then you can do this crazy thing that I got into last night but didn't get to build too much out of it that's using this method that um, sets, it basically uses the audio context, has a current time value, so it's always checking what the current time is, and then you can do something with that so you can plan into the future something. So you can say, um, you know, from this time into the future, do this, and then it does this uh, envelope value, so that's pretty cool, something you can do with it. Um, you can adjust the, the uh, wave, so you can do a square wave. Um, Sit for all these as well. This is another method on the. Um, so that's another method. <laughs> that's another method that you can. Um, uh, it's almost like a set timeout, but it's for audio params. So it's you're scheduling um, changes in value to the audio nodes. Um, so there's actually it's kind of incredible how much you can do with just the Web Audio API. You can literally build a synthesizer with it. Um, and I was kind of just scr scr uh, scratching the surface and just real quick. Something I actually realized last night is pretty fun is actually you just paste in text. So, for instance, you can pull the classic Jabberwocky and listen to that. And just before we close out, this is a time interval. This is pretty cool. So, this is on, on local state. You can adjust how long it, it is between each note. So really low is going to be not much time. <laughs> and then likewise, you can turn it into a dirge. Yeah, so that's the basic idea, and then, like I said, it's on React. It's on the, it's in React, so it's uh, just through routing. You can just switch through the two, and it actually maintains the state. So if you get something going, it can kind of, you know, you can start playing. But then the other thing that I actually did was just show you. This is like um, a random arpeggiator, so it's just doing like randomized set intervals of interval changes. Thank <laughs> you.